The Silent Hill HD collection at best is extremely underwhelming, and at worst, an enormous scam from Konami and Hijink Studios. The HD collection is a mess. I could list many reasons why it's a piece of trash and why I truly believe it is a scam. Maybe one day I will. However, in this video, I wanted to bring more attention to a controversy regarding the voice work. The plan was to reuse the original voices for the HD collection. However, this didn't sit well with Guy Sihi, the actor who played James Sunderland. He made the case that it wasn't right to do that. He believed that himself, the other voice actors and actresses, and even the members of Team Silent deserve some royalty. From Guy's point of view, and admittedly my one as well, Hygiene Studios took all the work that was put into the original games, which includes the music, the writing, the art, the animations, the work that the actors and actresses put into, and made some really stupid changes and went, this is ours now. These games were made by us now, and we're going to put HD on the title. Morally speaking, this is just scummy. The scammers known as Hygiene Studios just stole Team Silent's hard work. Legally speaking though, Konami owns a Silent Hill property. They hired Hygiene Studio to work on it and gave them free range to use the original source. But legal doesn't mean moral. You see, Guy Sihi was making a moral argument, and he's not wrong in my opinion. Their hard work was stolen by some random ass studio. So Guy announced he was going to find the other actors and actresses and get together and make a case against Konami and Hygiene Studio in court. Unfortunately, this never went anywhere. But this did pressure Konami and Hijink Studio to recast new voices for the HD collection. Oh boy, was it really bad. And it just shows how foolish Hijink Studios were. They had no idea what they were doing. Troy Baker was absolutely awful as James Sunderland. Liam O'Brien just did an impression of the original voice for Eddie. Casting Mary Elizabeth McGlynn was cute, and I love her. But to quote herself regarding being casted for Mary and Maria, she didn't fit the role. Her voice was too deep, and so her performance felt really off. I will say Laura Bailey was the best out of the cast. She tried to do Angela justice, but it's still meh. Like, she tried her best, and I love her for it, but it wasn't good. Now, this would be the end of the video, but I think it's important to also show how Troy Baker and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn reacted to Guy Sihi's actions. Let's start with Mary. There's actually a video of her being asked about it. In a nutshell, she called Guy a non-actor. Irony that the non-actors and actresses did a better job than the actual actors and actresses. Regarding voice work, it's an only a one fee situation. You get no royalties. Again, legal doesn't make it right. She downplays Guy's moral argument, takes the piss out how Angela sounds. How lovely. She explains how hijinks couldn't change the script. Of course they can't. If they were to change it themselves, it would mean that they would have to put some actual work into the HD collection. But they're scammers. Scammers don't work. They scam. She then mentions that her voice is too deep for Mary and Maria. No shit, you were miscasted. You knew and you took it anyway. Then she says if you prefer the OG voices, play the OG games, which is admirable. Then she talks about the HD collection for a new generation, but that's the issue. Those who play it without playing the original are robbing themselves of the true experience. Then she says the HD collection has the heart of Silent Hill? I'm laughing my ass off, no it doesn't. It's a scam made by scammers. Then finally she calls the OG actors and actresses non-actors and non-actresses, which is just disheartening. I do apologize, I think I covered the whole thing. <laughs> Anyway, even though this stains hearing that from Mary, because um, I really respect her and she's bloody amazing, I love her, I still think this is coming from a place of love. She seems frustrated by the situation, and most likely got asked about it a lot. I disagree with her and what she said, but I don't hold it against her. For what it's worth, she did say to play the OG games if you don't like the HD version. Oh baby, now it's Troy Baker's turn, and oh fucking hell, this guy's just a piece of shit. I never liked him. He once promoted an NFT that harmed other voice actors and actresses. He's way overrated. And he's an asshole. And the statement regarding Guy Sihi. Wow, he is so anti-voice actor and actresses. 
Let's go over his statement together, shall we? Huh. You never bash your employers. You never bash the people who gave you a huge leg up, no matter what they've done, or what you feel that they've done. You sack of shit. Triple A companies are known to abuse female workers, people of colour. They treat voice actors and actresses really badly. They're filled with racism, and they have an extremely toxic working environment, to name a few. And you say never bash them? What a fool. Huh. <sighs> but the fact that he's talking about... Riz dues being in video games show you just how out of the loop he is. Because Riz dues don't happen. They don't exist. Oh god. <laughs> so just because they don't exist, you're saying that they should never exist. Again, I'll say this. Legal does not mean more. Plus, uh, you're, you're the one who's out of the loop. You're an overrated voice actor who gets paid hundreds of thousands. Screw you. Ooh. So it's not that Konami wasn't willing to pay them. He wanted reduce. He wanted non-existent money that he felt he was owned. So Konami was no fault in this whatsoever. And they wanted to use him again. Guy was the one who was outspoken about it. And said that unless this happens, he wouldn't do it. Huh. So he forced Konami's hands. So if anyone wants to blame anybody for why they chose new voices, they can go back to the original James, and he's the one to blame. False. They didn't want to pay Guy, the other voice actors or actresses, or members of Team Silent. Legally, they don't have to, and they didn't want to, you lying sack of shit. Konami are to blame. They made so many awful decisions, and here you are defending them. Plus, this is just so pathetic of you just to put the whole blame on the situation on Guy. He is making a moral case. He believes and should get something. Him, the other actors and actresses, Team Silent, don't they deserve their cut? They put the work for it. It's their game. You and Hijinx are taking their work and claimed it as your own. Troy Baker doesn't see the issue. Of course not. That would be a conflict of interest, because never bash the employers, they're the ones that pay you. I've never liked you Troy Baker, he is legitimately an overpaid actor, an overrated actor, and just an awful person. And he's incredibly anti-voice actors and actresses, he's pro-corporation. But reading his statement from 2011, wow, he was always a piece of shit. Screw you Troy Baker, you're no better than Hijink Studio. No Konami. And Guy Sihi will always be a better voice actor than you. Hopefully you will now have a better understanding of the controversy surrounding the voice work in Silent Hill HD Collection, and Guy Sihi's point of view when he made the case against Konami in Hygiene Studio. And that Troy Baker is an awful person. Video over. Bye.